Hello, my name is Dr. Bill Campbell. I'm a professor of exercise science, a member of the Clean Health Academic Advisory Board, and the director of the Performance and Physique Enhancement Laboratory at the University of South Florida. I've been in the fitness industry for over 20 years, and I just absolutely love what I do. My research is on physique enhancement, so I try to investigate the best types of diets for fat loss. How do we maintain or grow muscle mass when dieting? So a lot of my research is on fat loss and resistance training. And what I wanna to do today is give you just a little mini lecture on the four main variables of resistance training program design. So we're gonna talk about load, effort, amount, and frequency. So load is simply how much weight we should lift. Effort is how hard should we be lifting. Amount is the volume of training that we do. And frequency is how many days per week should we be resistance training. So I go over all of this in my new guidebook called Building Your Ultimate Physique. And in this mini lecture, I just wanna introduce these topics, kind of give you the nuts and bolts of each of these variables. So the first variable is load. When you walk into a gym and you decide you're gonna do an exercise, the very first decision you have to make after deciding which exercise you're going to do is, what weight should I choose? Should I choose a heavy weight, a light weight, a medium weight? Where, where do I go? And the answer may surprise you. The answer is it doesn't matter much if your goal is trying to increase your muscle mass. There is a caveat to that. No matter which weight you choose, as long as you lift that weight until you can't lift it anymore or close to that point, we call that training to failure or specifically to near failure, Anything within that range will allow you to maximize muscle mass. So if I can lift the weight 15 times, but I couldn't lift it an additional time, as long as I lift it about 13 or 14 times, very close to where I can't lift it anymore, I'm maximizing my muscle mass. Now, this changes if your goal is to get as strong as you want to be. If you want to get strong, you have to lift heavy weights. That will optimize your strength development. The next area, the next variable is effort. And I kind of already alluded to this. How hard do I need to lift? Do I need to lift weights until I can't do another repetition? The answer is no. You just have to go near failure or near to the point where you can't lift it anymore because it becomes too, too heavy or you become too fatigued. So once again, if I can do a bench press 10 times, but if I try to do it the 11th time and I can't do it, that would mean I train to failure on the 10th rep. But we don't have to go there. I can lift it eight times or nine times. So that's called effort or intensity. It's pretty hard to keep to train to near failure, but that's what's needed to maximize muscle mass. The other variable is the amount, or some people will call the volume of training. How much do I need to lift? And the answer to that is we need to lift a certain amount of weights every week or every month, but let's just look at this on a weekly basis, up to a certain point. Once we reach a certain threshold, if you keep lifting more and more and more, the research would indicate that you're not gonna keep getting bigger and bigger muscles. So some resistance training volume is better than a little, but going above that amount isn't better. So more isn't better at a certain point. The last area or the last variable is frequency of training. That, that is how many times per week should I lift weights? Now the way that we approach this in my building your ultimate physique guide is we look at the volume of training and the frequency of training from a muscle group standpoint. So let's use the, my biceps as an example. Let's say I'm going to train my biceps. I'm gonna do 15 sets per week. I'm gonna do five sets of barbell curls. I'm gonna do five sets of dumbbell curls. And I'm gonna do five sets of cable curls. So that's five sets of each of those. That's 15 sets. Should I do 15 sets one day per week? Every Wednesday, do all 15 sets? Or should I do 
three days per week doing five sets each. Tip, typically it doesn't matter, but it does seem with some limited, limited scientific evidence that you don't want to do all of your volume for a muscle group in one day. So we wouldn't want to do all 15 sets one day per week. It's better to divide that up into two days, maybe even three days per week. So as an example, maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I do five sets. So Monday I do five sets of barbell curls. Wednesday I do five sets of dumbbell curls. And then Friday I would do five sets of cable curls. What that does is that stimulates my biceps for growth on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, not just the one day per week. We could also do it twice per week. Research tends to say typically about two days per week per muscle group seems to be appropriate. So maybe I do five sets of barbell curls and another five sets of dumbbell curls on Tuesday. And then Saturday I do another five sets of cable curls. That way I'm hitting my biceps twice per week. So frequency, typically about two days per week trying to hit each muscle group is appropriate. So in this little mini lecture, I just touched on the load, how much weight we should lift, how heavy should it be, how hard or with what intensity should we be lifting. We also looked at the volume of training and I ended with how frequently should we be hitting these muscle groups with training. In my guidebook, we go into much greater detail on each of these variables. Thank you very much for listening to this mini lecture.